So in our previous video, we have discussed how we can define or how we can enable a network security using your NSG. Now here in this video, we are going to talk about the storage security. So when you store the data into your storage, which is provided by your Azure, you obviously require a security to those particular data. So as we know, we have different kind of storage into your st Azure storage. Very first, we can store the data in a file format called as file security or the file data storage. Same way we can store the data into a disk where generally we can store any kind of data, any kind of file systems generally we have all the particular data or raw data can be stored into your disk. Same way we have a blob storage. The blob storage is that kind of storage where generally we can store huge amount of data if you have where generally it will store the data and there is a low cost for storing the data into this blob storage. And also we have queue storage. The queue storage is those kind of storage where generally you can store the data if it is not in use. You can store the data, you can queue it into your storage and this particular queue storage again lower down the cost of your storage as well. Same way you have a table format where generally you store the data into a tabular format into your storage like your storage databases, your SQL or any other database generally you have. There you store the data into your table format while in queue storage we don't have any particular format. We can store the data anyway. So there is no format for storing the data into your queue kind of storage. So these are the storages we have and obviously if you are storing the data into different kind of storages or any kind of storage you require the security so that any interviewer should not be able to attack to your data which you have stored or your data should not get crashed by any of your viruses which are coming in. So here we are going to provide the data security. We are going to provide the data security using when the data is at rest. So if you are not using the data for example into your blob storage or your queue storage you just store the data and you are not going to retrieve it. It is at rest. You can provide the security to it. Same way we can provide the security when the data is in transition. Like if the users are accessing the data frequently and still if you want to provide the security on it you can provide the in transition security to your database. As well as you can provide the encryption to your data where generally if you have any particular file or any particular directory or any drive you can provide an encryption so that only the users who are authorized to use this and who can decrypt this particular data will be able to access your data. Same way you have an access control which you can define on your data so that you can allow or provision or a particular user who will be able to access the data. Even you can provide different permissions that is read, write, full control or deny permissions on the data which you have stored onto your data security. So into our next video we are going to see how we are going to configure this data security on the different storages generally we have.